Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I wanted to go ahead and kind of show you guys what I've been doing to acquire my beachhead maps. Now, I've found a method that I seem to really like, uh, and I've actually profited off of it every single time, which is actually awesome. So, I want to go ahead and show you guys exactly what it costs to get this going with my current method. And I've actually, I'm trying something new that I haven't tried yet, and I wanted to showcase it in this video. So, I wrote up a quick little uh, document here. As you can see, this is a professionally edited Notepad++. We've got 12 T11 maps, which costs about 1 chaos each. Now, I'm using Shaped Racecourse. These are like 2 to 3 chaos each. I just didn't feel like messaging a bunch of different people for it. Um, so you don't really have to worry about that. You can buy like bizarre maps for 1C each. Um, we've got 48 chisels, which is 16 chaos. Now, the reason why I've got 48 chisels is simply because... If you chisel the map beforehand and it becomes a unique, it comes already with 20% quality, like you, you can see the ones down here. 48 Harbinger Orbs, which are located here. These go for about 2 Chaos each. Uh, sometimes they're like 2.5 Chaos. Uh, I don't really know specifically. I bought all of mine for 96 Chaos. And then I've got Orbs of Horizon that I'm testing something out with as well. These go for about 3 for 1 Chaos right now in the Hardcore League. And you don't have to do this method at all. This is something I want to try personally. So the goal is the total amount comes up to, I believe, 144 chaos. Let me see right here. We've got 144 chaos as our total amount. So to break even, all we really need is seven beachhead maps. That's it. If we can pull out seven maps, they sell for 15 to 25 chaos each. But since it's 20% quality, you can easily sell for 20C. So seven breaks even. This is not including the map return that you'll get. So for example, out of the map, I'll also get my shaped Ashen Woods, my shaped race courses, my shaped bog maps, even my abyss maps can drop out of there too. One other thing to note is that the map actually does acquire value if it breaks and doesn't go the full way. So anyway, let's just go ahead and start this process so I can show you guys. So step one, we're going to chisel every single race course map. Alright, step two is the fun part. We want to try to get at least seven beachheads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we got one. Two, three, okay. Ooh, that one was a that was a pretty shitty RNG one. All right, here we go. Okay, so I've got nine left right now. Oh, I actually went overboard. I don't even need as much as I had, so it's actually cheaper. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five. So I pulled out five. So five already. In my opinion, I profited because this is a hundred chaos here. And I already have three, I have a bunch of T15 maps. So now one thing that you can do is you can take one step further and you can choose, for example, to continue to upgrade them to get a T16 map. Or you can do the method that I wanted to do. And if you like running your T15 maps, what you can actually do is you can roll them into a map tier you want. So for example, what I'm going to do is... I like Abyss Maps, and you can see I'm farming Abyss Maps because I can get Steel Rings out of them and the Corrupted Divination card for Combs Heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to roll them all into an Abyss Map. If it... okay. Or I could roll 16 times to get one Abyss Map. That works too. That's no problem. Okay. There we go. So right there, we pulled out five Beachheads. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six abyss maps that I can run for myself personally. So that's kind of the method that I've been applying. And truly, you will break even by running these maps because, like I said, out of your abyss maps, these are T15, you'll get your drops. And then out of your beachheads, you'll also get, like, for example, if I were to show the pieces that you can farm here as well on top of that. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, even if you get fucked by RNG like I did, you can still make a profit off of it, so it's no problem. Uh, but I'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.